Hi, I'm David Maldo, and I produce a lot of Zoom events, webinars, and meetings. And one thing a lot of my clients ask me is, where are my Zoom recordings? So let me give you the quick answer, and then I'll have some more information. Jump into a Zoom meeting. I'm in one right now. Wiggle your mouse around to get your buttons to pop up on the screen. And look for the Stop Video button. And see that little arrow next to it? Click that. It should bring up a submenu, and the bottom option should be Video Settings. Click that and it'll open up your settings menu. Now it's on video settings. We want to switch it to recording. Then under recording settings, there's two places you want to look. To get your local recordings, you want to click this open button. That'll open a, a window on your desktop with all your local recordings. To get your cloud recordings, you want to click this manage button. That'll open up a web browser with all of your cloud recordings. So if you clicked on this video to just get a quick answer for where your recordings are, I hope that did it for you. But for some of you, that might have raised a few more questions, like why are there local and cloud recordings and which one should I use? So let's back up a minute, let's close this, and let's take a look. You may have noticed when you start a Zoom recording by wiggling your mouse around to get your buttons to come up and then clicking the record button, you have two options, record to this computer or record to the cloud. If not, they're disabled in your settings. We'll see how to turn them on in a minute. So which one should you use? Well, it is personal preference, but I think the cloud recording is a little bit more powerful. Since it's done on the Zoom servers, it can get all the views and has more ways to share. But you might have a company policy or just personal preference and might want to just store everything directly on your computer. So now that we understand that there's two ways to record, let's take a quick look at how they're managed and the settings. Let's go back to our little settings window. We'll go over here again, click the recording tab and you could see for local recording there's about half a dozen settings I'm not going to go through them all they're pretty self-explanatory and there's little help pop-up windows if you want more information and you can click the change button if you want to store them to a different place in your computer and the open button just opens up a Windows tab a Windows Explorer tab on your computer with the files now you'll notice that there aren't any settings for cloud recording that's because you have to go online to manage your cloud settings the app can only manage what's on your computer so this Manage button takes you to the Zoom website, logs you into your account so you can manage your cloud recordings, and that's where you'll see the cloud recording settings. So I clicked on the Manage button, and it took me to zoom.us slash recording, logged me in, and here are my cloud recordings. Now you may notice that some of these recordings have more files than other. That's based upon the settings at the time I took the recording. We'll get into that in, in a minute. But just a quick peek, this one has six files. And you can see there's all these different views, the speaker view alone, the gallery view alone, with the, with the shared screen, the shared screen alone. Each of these files are individually here for me to download or share. While we're here, let's take a quick look at the share options because they're, they're pretty powerful. When you click the share button next to any item, you, have, you can see all of these different options here. Uh, I'm not going to go through them. They're pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward, but different ways to protect the share. One thing that's pretty cool, if you click this button, it copies the link to your clipboard so you can paste that link in an email, anyone can then click on the link and view your recording. Okay, so we've seen where the local recordings are stored. We've seen the settings for local recordings. We've seen where the online recordings are stored. What about the settings for online recordings? Well, you go to the settings tab at the left of the screen over there. And then at the top, click the recording tab for the setting for the settings for the recordings. The first thing you'll notice, this is how you turn on and off the ability to do local recordings but there's no other settings for the local recordings. They're in the other place that we looked before. And here's how you turn on and off the cloud recording, the ability to do cloud recordings, and look how many cloud recording settings there are. There's all these different views, different ways to share. Uh, I'm not gonna go through them all, but it's worth taking a few minutes to check them out. They're all self-explanatory or offer enough, to, offer enough uh, helpful text that you can figure out what they all are. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.